Currently in near Mount Fuji. I don't know which prefecture we're in actually, but yeah, we left Osaka around midnight and drove for like six hours. It's currently six a.m. and yeah, today is a really nice day, weather-wise. Actually, today is the only sunny day for the next two weeks or so. So yeah, as you can see, it's a beautiful Mount Fuji right there we're gonna explore a little bit more scenic places to get the shot of the mount fuji yeah we're just gonna explore around this area and see how it goes Okay, so that wasn't enough to explain this trip. <laughs> so we went on a road trip to Chiba, um, which is prefecture next to Tokyo. And this day we stopped by to see Mount Fuji in Shizuoka prefecture. We left Osaka at midnight because if you drive a highway between midnight to 4 a.m., you can get a discount. I remember it was like 30%. And yep. Freeway in Japan is not toll free. This is probably the most famous viewpoint of the Mount Fuji. This image was featured on different media globally and a lot of people come here to get the shot of Mount Fuji and this pagoda. When we arrived, the cloud was covering the mountain but we waited for some time and the sky cleared up in the end.
So now we're heading east to our final destination. But we stopped in the middle at Kanagawa Prefecture to check the waves and also have some food. We found this famous railway crossing. This place has been under people's concern because of the over tourism. People visiting this spot to get a shot of the train, which is one of the iconic scenes of Slum Dank, a popular basketball manga slash anime. The crossing appears in the iconic opening scenes of the anime and it has since become a pilgrimage spot for fans who want to recreate the scene in real life. But man, I was surprised how many people were there. And it's not even the weekends. We had late lunch at this restaurant. I saw this place on TV before, so I wanted to come. The curry is a popular dish here, so I ordered this. The curry was so thick and had lots of flavors from the spice. I liked it. Kanagawa is a prefecture right under Tokyo and I visited often on a school trip when I was younger. And Kamakura is one of the most popular areas in Kanagawa prefecture but this time we skipped because we wanted to drive to the destination before late. But if you're visiting Kanagawa, definitely check out Kamakura area. It's really nice. With It has a temple, was it a shrine? Maybe it was a shrine and also lots of places for food and yeah it's like it's generally really like quiet neighborhood except for this is like a touristy spot but yeah the vibes are really quiet so it's it's nice yeah you can definitely check it out
there is a bridge going between Kanagawa Prefecture and Chiba Prefecture. Yeah, you just drive the bridge over the Tokyo Bay. And in the middle, there's a rest area called Umi Hotaru. It's like a parking area, rest area, I don't know. And yeah, we stopped by for a short break. I'm from the Chiba prefecture and he is Chibaka. It's like a stay character or something. I grew up watching him. We came here at night so it was dark and we couldn't see anything but if it's during the day and the weather is nice, you can even see Mount Fuji from the spot. We continue to drive a little bit more and spend the night at the roadside station. See you in the next vlog!